Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's see what we've got today. It's person's thoughts and feelings. The person on your mind the most, the thoughts and feelings. I am stuck in visions of us together, so you're on someone's mind. Okay, obviously during this reading I'm going to see if I take any action. Environment, challenges, that kind of stuff today. Oh, very passionate. That's all I can say on YouTube, so you know what that means. They're stuck in visions of you together in a very passionate way, okay? I can't let go of you. Uh, you're in someone's head, heart. Okay, right, let us see what else they would like to say to you. So yeah, someone's stuck on you, they can't let go of you. Very, very strong, this message today. Just while I give these, oh, that wanted to come out. Just while I give these a shuffle, if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of the video, it's all in the description box. Also go check out the free relationship report as well. Let's have a look. Whoa, this person's head is a little bit mixed up because on the one hand, right, well, oh, yeah, on the one hand they can't let you go, okay? They want you, they miss you, they need you. This person wants you. There's no shadow of a doubt here. But they do have a big ego. So I feel that although they want you, etc., etc. There's also a side of them with this card, I feel like you didn't care, like you didn't care, okay? A little bit sulky, bit childish energy. So this person you're connected into has got some, I would say some low self-esteem issues here, okay? But this is where it's messy, because on the other hand, I failed to give you what you needed. They know they neglected you, but then they felt you didn't appreciate them. Okay, so for me today, that is somebody who has low self-esteem and because of that, they overcompensate, so they become very egotistical. Okay, like they will just pull their energy back or cut off contact or something to try and protect themselves. But deep down, this person has not let go of you. Even if you're not speaking, even if you're blocked on every platform known to man and everybody else this person doesn't want to let you go okay they have a massive ego though the ego cards out they do have a massive ego let's just see what's going on in their environment okay let's see if that's affecting anything let's see if they're happy let's just see environment please or anything that they feel that was in your environment that affected this connection Okay, five of pentacles, finances. Okay. Somebody is worrying about money here. Somebody feels left out of something. Someone feels left out in the cold. They don't feel like they fit in with something. But I'm really going with someone's worrying about money. Money today. Okay. Um, your person could be in a situation almost like a gilded cage. All right, they could have gone somewhere, and this is specific, but it's coming through, so I'm going to say it. They could have gone somewhere where somebody else was providing for them financially, or has been providing for them financially, or has more control over the purse strings. And they know that they can't manage financially without this person, okay? Your person could have, I just heard bad credit or something, okay? So they're in an environment where it's almost like they're either a, a kept man or a kept woman or, or whatever gender you associate with, okay? It's not that, it's the energy. Somebody here feels that they don't have enough money on their own to get out of this connection, gilded cage, okay? That they can't, although they're deeply unhappy, they cannot get out of this, okay? They've bitten off more than they can chew. What's at the top of the deck, please? But they're not happy. In their environment, the Four of Cups, they're not happy at all. They're bored. They're dissatisfied. They're feeling spiritually empty, especially with the Five of Pentacles as well, because that can speak of 
just feeling empty, that you don't belong. Okay, you don't belong. And I feel with the visions card, stuck of visions of you two together, that that's what they're doing. They're just sitting daydreaming. All right. They're living in their memories. They're absolutely living in their, mem their memories, but they're finding it very difficult to get out of this because it's just a price to pay and it will be on a financial level. It will be on a financial level. And this happens, you know, this happens in life. People, unfortunately, can be in relationships where one person has got more control over the finances. Some, somebody is the main provider. And to live that lifestyle to outsiders, it can look fantastic, but you are rather like a bird in a cage. I keep getting that cage. Someone feels caged. Okay, right. Let's see what other challenges we've got, please. What other challenges have we got? Yeah, I feel from your energy that you're quite happy at the moment actually being on your own. You're getting a dis... I think what's happened with you, okay, possibly over a period of time, is that your perspective has changed on this. You've started to realise that the relationship you were in with this person was an uphill struggle. That you were the only one carrying all the burdens. You were the one whose boundaries weren't respected. You were the one that ended up taking on everybody else's problems. Almost like you were the only one pushing to the finishing line. Okay, You've had time. I feel you felt quite lonely in this relationship at times. You didn't feel appreciated. Definitely interesting that's come out because we've got the neglected card here. You know, you felt isolated on some level, whatever that was. You know your story, but you were feeling lonely. Um, this relationship really dragged your energy down. You know, like I often say, that struggle to get out of bed in the morning energy. that You were just like, I really can't do this anymore. It was just hard work but your perspective has changed you see it's almost like you're seeing it for what it what it really was you're realizing now that you were neglected okay you're realizing now that you were neglected and that you were alone a lot it's almost like you were the only one doing anything whether that's emotionally financially or energetically you were the one left to do it all to get across the finishing line. Um, people expected you to take on all of their problems, all of their issues, without even really caring that you were practically on, I just feel you were on your knees at one point, okay? But you still have that energy to know right from wrong and to keep going. You're, you're very, I'm getting some reading here that you're very open Okay, you're very open, but because of that, people crossed your boundaries. They just dumped more on you. They dumped more on you, but you can see that now. That, I feel, is, is a blockage here because your energy is changing. Your energy is changing. Okay. Let me see what your person is saying to the outside world. You know, what they're projecting, what, what they're sort of... 3D persona is as of what they're really thinking deep down. What are they projecting out? They're just projecting out that it's all worked out okay, that it was balanced, that it was fair, that justice was done. Okay, so if they've done you an injustice, they are almost projecting out that it wasn't their fault, and this is their ego. Okay, this is their ego. Right, let's see what they're really thinking, please. What is this person really thinking, please? They miss you. Ten of Pentacles. They they can't let go of you. They, they miss the stability. They miss the stability here, okay? They miss the family. They miss your values, your traditions, your way of doing it. If you ran a business together or you built something up, they miss that. Okay, it's almost as if something went wrong here. 
they saw a better option but now they're like a bird trapped in a gilded cage and they can't get out because of finances they don't possibly just don't have enough money to leave or they can't buy the way out of something okay but they do miss that with you they miss your traditions your values your way of doing things they miss family and they just miss I, I just get being at home with you what you had okay absolutely what you had but that's not what they're telling people and that's because of their ego okay this could be someone who went to somebody else and said that oh it, it was your karma you know it was it, it, it was karma it, it was just the way it was you know that they could have been telling other people that they were fair and just and honest with you okay but they know they neglected you and they didn't give you what you needed okay and then they went elsewhere but now they're trapped hmm well let us see what they're going to are they going to do anything are they going to do anything let's see if this person's going to do anything yes they are they're going to come in really quickly they are going to come in quickly the only thing i will say i don't know it's not it's not always one of my favorite cards yeah they miss you okay especially if it's long distance this card for me is long distance but they definitely miss you okay they're going to come in very very quickly because they're irritated with waiting i really do feel what's going to happen here today is that somebody regardless of the finances regardless of being in this gilded cage they are literally just going to wake up one morning and think that's it i'm going back i want my person back okay they are holding on to you they are looking back at the past at everything you built together okay the time that the time you invested into it the energy the money i've definitely got a business element here for somebody something that a lot of time effort and energy was invested in you did start to build something stable here or you had something stable here you could have had a very stable nice home life here okay this person wants you back okay and they're going to come back in all right this could be with the help of a third person there could be a friend of a friend who tries to put in a good word for your person okay now the only thing i will say is your energy was you know do i really want this anymore do i need these burdens it's almost like you've just had enough and that you you want to take action now on something where you get some something back in return i'm hearing but your person's going to come back in very, very, very suddenly. I will say it's going to cause a lot of chaos because there's no plan here. They will just literally get up. I want to speak my truth. I want to have my say. It's like something snaps. Okay. It's like something snaps. I just feel like they're really stewing at the moment where they are they're trying to keep quiet they're trying to keep everything under wraps they're trying to keep their emotions in check but you know people can only do this for so long they might have done it for years this person could have been out of your life for a while but eventually they're going to snap okay they're going to come back in because bottom of the deck nine of cups they want to win you back they want to win you back Okay, but for you, I feel that you were always in competition with other people. There were always other people you were competing with. Whether this just was a business and you were the one left with all the burdens, you were the one having to fend off competitors or, or sort the finances out, but you were always having to do the fighting, I heard. You were always the one having to do the fighting. But they're going to come back in they're going to come back in let's just see what else i'd like to say to you let's have a look you and i were too young i was getting for some of you that this is a you possibly 
have been together for a while. You built something here with this person. I wish things could be different. Yep. I'm becoming a better person. Okay. Well, they do know they neglected you. Now, that is actually positive because sometimes people reconcile. I've seen it so many times. And the person doesn't actually still think they've done anything wrong. I bury myself in stuff to forget you. Yeah, they have been doing in their environment. They've just switched off. They're just apathetic. You know, they're just going along with the day to day stuff. They're doing their thing, but they're not happy. They're not happy at all. One more, please. I knew exactly what I was doing. I feel they did. Going back to that gilded cage, going back to somebody who's now providing for them. Okay? But they're going to come back in. It's going to be quick. It's going to be sudden. Because they're going to just suddenly blow where they are. They're getting irritated. They're going to literally come out of a very lethargic situation. And I don't really think they're going to care whether they've got any money or not. Okay? They're just going to get up one day and think, right, that's it. I'm contacting you and I want to speak to you and that's it. Okay. Let's just have one more on that environment because I don't know. I just feel like I think it's, it's going to cause hassle. Yeah, it's money again. They're going to lose some money. They're going to lose something in that environment. Okay. Um... They're going to lose, this is what I'm getting, I'm channeling this, they're going to lose what was handed them to them on a plate that is not making them happy. Okay? It's not making them happy. I think they thought the money would. Something they thought in the physical would make them happy, but it's not. They're going to lose that. All right, yeah. They're very anxious um, about the situation they're in at the moment. But they're going to come forward. They're going to come forward, Wheel of Fortune. It's fated. It's almost like it's fated, okay? You could have been manifesting this person back in. By fated, that's what I mean. I believe we're master of our own destiny, okay? I believe what we think about predominantly grows. What we focus on grows. What we don't focus on, i.e. we're not giving it attention to, usually with us, okay? But you could have been manifesting this person back in or it's a cycle that's repeated itself okay but this person's coming back this person is defo defo coming back let's see for advice for you please advice for you <laughs> i wish i didn't laugh but going back to that hermit when i was saying that i feel you've got a different perspective on this about you being left out you were lonely i think you're going to tell this person to back off that's one angry, that's like, that's almost like your energy. Okay. It could be your energy that's going to be irritated. Okay. But it's almost like you're going to tell them to back off. You're going to be yourself. You're going to speak some truths here. Yes. Wow. Working too hard. Okay. What well, I feel you're going to, what, and also this is advice as well. If this is your reading, take what resonates. Speak your truth. You also speak your truth about what happened because the working too hard card is you in the past carrying all these burdens, trying to make it work, worn out, just absolutely not seeing the wood for the trees because everyone just keeps dumping on you. So, you know, it's almost like you're being advised to say, tell your truth to this person. Tell them that you were sick and tired of working too hard in this and you're not willing to do this anymore. But more than that, just be yourself. Just totally be yourself here. That is really strong advice. Don't be frightened to speak your mind as well. Okay? Don't be frightened to speak your mind as well. If this is your reading today. So, anyway, I hope that's helped someone today. Take good care of yourselves and be that. Be yourself. Okay? Speak the truth. Especially about the working too hard, which really ties in to your energy and how you feel about this relationship. Just let it all out. You have every right to speak your truth as well, okay? Even though I know sometimes it's hard if you 
just want to help and you're kind because usually people who don't always put up boundaries are just you know if you're kind and stuff but this time no speak your truth okay just speak your truth anyway take care i'll speak to you soon loads of love bye